There are plenty of AI tools out there to make editors' lives easier. But what if you could have all these tools and edit your entire video in one place? Well, let me introduce you to Descript and my five favorite features. Let's jump on in. First off, Descript is a sponsor of this video. They didn't tell me what to say. They simply asked me to review their software and share my favorite parts. And here we are. The best part is you can start with Descript for free. You can use my link below to try it out. Now it has evolved to include a whole array of useful AI tools, which can be used individually or part of a larger edit. You can download Descript as its own separate software, or you can edit directly in their website, which is what I'll be doing today. Jumping into their homepage here, you'll immediately get options to start a new edit, or if we need any individual tasks done, like clean up audio or add captions, you'll get these shortcuts to all these tools right up here at the top. I'll pick edit a video to get started on a new project. Here we can start recording if we have a camera and a mic setup, or you can even paste a YouTube link here in case you wanna quickly turn your videos into clips, which I'll show you later on. But I'm just gonna upload my raw footage here by dragging it right here. Descript will just take a little bit of time to upload and transcribe everything. And here we can pick the amount of speakers and their names. Once everything is ready, we can now check out how text-based editing works inside Descript. On the left, I get a transcription of everything I said laid out in a document format. We can also press show timeline here to see the timeline like in any other editing software. In the text panel, click on any word and press space bar to play from that word. I can edit and remove any text and it will be reflected in the timeline. So if I cut out this chunk of text and paste it below, you'll see in the timeline, it's like I've cut out that part of the video and moved it. Or you can select a part of the text and in this little toolbox pop-up, press this ignore button to cross out the text, which will remove it from the timeline. But what's great is that I can always bring it back inside the text panel. So just using the text panel, you can basically assemble the whole video. We can also get help from the AI Underlord to help cut out the video. Yes, that is actually what this tab is called. Here we also get a list of AI tools. We can use the remove filler words to remove any ums and uhs, or shorten word gaps to make your video tighter. Or what I'm going to choose is remove retakes. If you're like me, where you like to redo the line until it's a perfect take, what you can do is it'll show me where all the retakes are so I can go through each spot to see if I agree with the chosen takes or not. Beauty of meme sound effects. I just find it super interesting. This one sounds good to me. So let's hit the green check mark to commit to this edit. There's also edit for clarity. This will help trim out any unnecessary words so we can get to the point faster. A great way to make edits right inside the text panel is using scenes. For example, if I want to zoom in on this sentence here, I can add a slash at the start and end of the sentence. This will create two new scenes, as you see here on the side panel. So while I'm in scene two, let's click the video in the preview window and drag out the corners to scale up the video and start repositioning the footage. Whatever I do here will only affect when I say this sentence, AKA scene two. So down here we can change to all scenes to make adjustments to the entire video instead of just the current scene. Using scenes is very useful in the script as you'll see later in the video. So with this little toolbox up here, I can do more stuff like flip the video or even add effects. How about green screen? This is pretty much like a one click background remover. It takes a couple minutes to apply and we can see the progress from the spinning wheel down here. This means it's working in the background so you can keep on editing if you need to. And it's done. As you can see, it's not the most accurate, but for social media videos, it does the job. You don't have a lot of ways to adjust this. There's simply an on or off button. But what I can do now is add something behind me. And a great place to do that is using their built-in elements library. We can access it here using the side panel. And here we can add basic text and shapes. Just give it a click to add it to the timeline. Then switch to the layer tab to adjust the size and rotation, or even add effects and animations to this particular shape layer. If you're familiar with Premiere Pro, this is kind of like the effect controls panel. I can move this element behind me just by right clicking on it in the timeline and change the layer order or press the keyboard shortcut, which are the bracket keys. Back in the elements tab, if we scroll down, we'll get animated shapes 
shapes and overlays. We can click on show all to see more options. Although there isn't much here, hopefully they'll add more in the future. The good news is, is that all of these are pre-cut so we can just add them to the timeline and it'll be ready to go. No need to remove any backgrounds. My favorite section from the elements tab are these dynamic animating graphics, like this timer or this loading bar. Or how about this audio waveform that will automatically visualize any audio that's playing. In this little toolbox here, we can change this wave to a circular design or lines. We can click here to change the style even further. This is great for quickly adding a visualizer for music. My only suggestion is to add more customizability because right now this waveform will visualize all the audio that's in the timeline. If we could pick a specific track to visualize, that would be useful. Or for the timer, it would be great if we could choose the exact start and end time we want to use. But these work great for adding quick and simple graphics. But here's a tip though. If you plan to reuse the same elements or effects, what you can do is create an empty scene at the end of the timeline. Then we can add all the elements that we'll need inside of this scene. I can also adjust the font and color. And once we're happy, just go to the list of scenes on the left side panel, right click on the last scene and save scene as a new layout. This is kind of like saving presets in Premiere Pro. We can create a new layout pack to add it to and then hit add. So now in the future, if we need to recall these elements again, we can move to any scene that is needed, then go to the scene tab on the right. And on the top here, we can choose one of these pre-made layouts. They have a bunch by default that we can use or go down to our own layout pack to access the layout preset that we just created. Click on this and all the elements and their attributes will pop up in the timeline ready to go. This can save you a lot of time. My next favorite feature is a must for almost all social media videos now, and that is animating captions. Since we already have an accurate transcript of everything that I said in this video, it's incredibly easy to turn them into animating captions. Go to the captions tab here on the side and we'll see a list of captioning presets. We can hover over each preset to see it in action, or if we move our attention up to the top here, you can choose to apply captions to all the scenes or just this current scene. I'll leave it at all scenes and click on the preset that we want and a captions layer will pop up on top of the whole video. You can click on the captions in the preview window to bring up the toolbox. Here we can change fonts and colors. And if we want to go more in depth, press custom to get more options like adding a border around the active text or changing the opacity of words that haven't been said yet. This looks pretty good. Let's play. What do you feel when you hear this? All right, all right, all right. But here's a quick tip. If the auto transcription gets any of the timing wrong or you just want one particular word to come in faster or slower, what you can do here is go into the timeline, hold control or command on a Mac and use the mouse wheel to zoom into the timeline. When you zoom in enough, you'll see each individual word in their own boxes. Hold control or command again and you'll be able to move the start or the end of the word to adjust the timing. And yes, this change will automatically be reflected in the captions. Before we continue, you might be wondering, who is Descript for? As you saw with the rotoscoping, there's not a lot of customizability there. The controls are really basic and easy to use. And because of that, it's not really designed for Hollywood editors or television editors, right? It's designed for social media content creators, marketers that maybe have never edited before, and podcasters. There are a lot of things that just make it easy to use. For example, this nifty little chat box. What you can do is if you don't know how to do something, you can just type in your question here and it will instantly get a step-by-step -step guide to help you get familiar with Descript. So unless you solely edit for TV and film, Descript could be a great option for editing your projects or just using their individual AI tools like this next one. You can generate AI voices or even clone your own voice. For me, this is super useful if I say something wrong when I'm recording and then we need to fix it in post-production. I can just click anywhere here in the text panel and just type in the at symbol and we'll get options to create our own AI voice or browse Descript's catalog of AI speakers. And I gotta say, most of these sound pretty good and natural. Life is like a camera. Life is like a camera. Once I have the voice that I want, I can start typing what I want it to say, and then I can wait a few seconds for Descript to generate. 
And here we go. And don't forget to hit the like button. But how about cloning my own voice? Well, they made it really easy. When you type in the at symbol, choose create new speaker. And if you already have a speaker name for when you first imported the footage, you can select that speaker and then press the three dots at the end to get more options and pick enable speech generation. Now, all we need to do is record ourselves talking this line of text here. But since I've already recorded, I can just click here to upload the audio file. Now, after about 15 seconds, my voice clone is already ready to use. Here's an example. And don't forget to hit the like button. Now, personally, I do think that the voice clone sounds a little bit robotic, but it's pretty good for generating something so fast. And it could work just to insert maybe one or two words that I said wrong rather than, you know, cloning an entire script. The last feature is automatically creating clips and highlight reels. But before we do that, here's how to do it manually. Up on the top, we can click on the composition name and here we can duplicate this comp to create a new one. In this new comp, I can press the button here to change the aspect ratio to portrait to make my video vertical. And here I can make more edits, cut out parts that aren't needed, and finish up my short without messing up the main comp. Talking about the main comp, we can go back to it just by pressing the comp name on top and switch back to the original one. Go to the Underlord menu, and here we'll get two options for Descript to repurpose our video. Create clips, or create highlight reel. With create clips, Descript will turn your project into multiple shorts. You can choose how many right up here and how long you want each clip to be. We can choose the layout down here. And as you can see, we also got vertical ones, square ones, and most of them come with a caption preset that we can then customize later. As for topic, here we can write in some pointers so the AI has an idea of how we want the clips to be made. For instance, in this video, I go through 10 popular sound effects and their origin. So I want Descript to pick five of the best sound effects I talk about in this long video and turn each of them into their own short clip. This sound effect is known as Sad Violin. And it's actually a music track named Sad Romance. And as for a highlight reel, Descript will take the best parts of a whole video and put them all into one short video. We can choose the max duration and layout up here and let's press submit. After a few seconds, we'll get a new composition for the highlight reel, a captions layer, and also a gradient layer to help the captions pop. We can remove any part of the highlight that we don't want, or we can go back to the original composition and copy the text for any part we want to add to the highlight. Go back to the highlight reel comp and paste the text and Descript will also copy over the video and extend the captions for us automatically. But if we look in the timeline here, it created this huge gap before our newly pasted text. But no worries, to get rid of it, just right click in front of the new text here and change the word gap to none. And bam! No more empty space. So Descript's repurposing features can really save you a ton of time. Let's say you have a really long interview and you need to make highlights from that. Or let's say you have a podcast and you just want to generate short clips from that podcast to share on social media. This is a great use case for it. And as I mentioned before, you can go back to the homepage here and you can create a new project using a link to any published YouTube video. And then you can have Descript make clips from that. Even though Descript might not do everything, they did, however, make it very easy to use for beginners just to produce a basic video. And there's a free version. But what do you think? Do you think you can add Descript to your video editing workflow? Let me know in a comment below. If you'd like to try it out for free, you can use my link down below in my description box, or you can scan the QR code here on screen to get started. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.